Um, hmm. I'm gonna wash my face. <sighs> Thought I could use some company. Um, my hair is wild right now. All right, so my ag has been, it's been out of control. And over the past month, I've been really trying to take care of my face. Um, I obviously like eat decently. My diet does help when I eat well. Um, it's just always been a struggle for me out here in the streets. So just started this new regimen been a success thus far. I'm gonna put you guys try it right there. Yeah. Stay right there. So try it. I like my hair too, that's so funny. It's so wild. I don't know how it gets this wild. So, this stuff is called abaji, I think it's called. I'm not really sure, but um, works pretty nice. Been using it for like a month now, I think, or like three weeks or something. If any of you guys use it. Oh, speaking of, is that a goat that you put on there? Yeah. Speaking of goats, what's up, Toronto? Um, goats are my favorite animals ever, ever, ever. Like, if anyone ever wants to, like, send me a card and it has a goat on it, I would die. Like, actually. I can't wait to go to the World Cup. Someone's requesting to be in my live video, but like, do you see what's happening here? Like, I'm actually like washing my face, so I can't, I can't press, I can't accept you. Sorry. Um, hmm. Do you have any questions you want to ask me? I always have like, I always know the most random stuff. So feel free to ask away. For those of you who are just joining, I'm doing my face regimen before I go to sleep. I did an intense workout today. I hate lifting. Like, I hate doing, like, stationary, like, lifts, like, bicep curls and stuff. But I've been trying to just, like, incorporate, like, exercises specifically for my chest, back, biceps, triceps, delts. Um, because I haven't really been training that much, so I'm just trying to get my overall strength back. And I've been doing, like, stuff for my legs, obviously, like lunges and squats. How old was I? I was, like, five, I think. Yeah, I was five when I first started playing soccer. Yeah, it's 10.13. It's 10.13 here. I'm trying to, like, be in bed by 10, so I'm a little bit late. But I'm trying to be in bed and asleep by, like, 11, the latest. So I can wake up early and get my day going. How did I get picked for the national team? It's funny that you asked that because, like... For Jamaica, it's like you never really know who's Jamaican. Like, look at me. I look Puerto Rican, Dominican, Colombian, white, mixed, random stuff. So, you never really know. And they change the coaches a lot too. But um, they reached out to me a long time ago when I was like in high school. And I didn't want to play then because I was trying to prepare for a World Cup. I mean... I'm like really tired, so excuse me. Um, I was trying to prepare to go to college at UF, go Gators. So 
Um, I didn't really want to like venture out into that yet. And then when I was in college, I, we were coming up like on a World Cup year, so I had reached back out to them and started like going to camps and stuff. Um, and then this time around, I like actually hadn't played soccer for like eight months, and my coach was like, "Hey, come play," and I was like, "Eh, I don't know because I haven't been playing soccer." And then I did. And now I'm back. Now we qualify for the World Cup, which is awesome. Yeah, see, it's funny though because what's interesting is right. Like your grandmother has the same. Um, complexion as me but people will try my life like in Jamaica and like everywhere like no you're not Jamaican or like no you're not black like because I look this color and I'm just like I don't know I'm really tired of getting in like I don't argue with ignorance I don't argue with people who don't know what they're talking about so I just stop caring about that because if I waste my life being caught up with what other people are saying, I'm not gonna live my own life. So I live my own life, I do my thing. And I honestly use the diversity to my, to my use, you know, I use it to my advantage. So people think I'm Hispanic, like, cool. They think I'm white, cool. They think I'm black, cool. I don't really care. Do you know when the women's team is gonna start playing some friendlies? Uh, I think January, I think in January we're gonna start like, we're going to have like an official ca uh, World Cup calendar. I hope we should. In a professional setting, we would have that. You know, hopefully by January, we would know like when there's going to be camps and stuff. And like if we're going to have friendlies planned and stuff like that. But <sighs> with the, excuse me, with the JFF and how our federation is run, you know, you honestly can't really depend on anyone. So. It, you know, me, I'm just standing by and when they call me, I show up and I do my best. Right now, I'm just focused on myself. I'm trying to get as fit as I can be. I'm trying to get myself in an environment to play good soccer. I'm trying to clear up my acne because at 25, you would think this shit would be gone. That's still here. So, hey, Isma, can you text me, please? I was trying to ask, I was going to see if you were um, going to play tomorrow because I kind of want to play. So, can you text me, please? Thanks. Um, but yeah, I'm just like, I'm, I'm trying to get rid of my acne and I'm trying to get fit. I'm trying to juice. I'm trying to just like vibe, meet cool people, laugh, smile, joke around, you know, all that, all that good stuff. Good, positive energy. <laughs> That's because you're my favorite soccer player. <laughs> Except for Marcelo. Sorry. <laughs> favorite European football team? What part of Europe? Like, give me, give me a country and I'll let you know. I got a couple teams. You work for Juventus? The men's or the women? You're trying to get me on Juventus? I'd love to play for Juventus. You can connect me. That'd be awesome. Love Italy. I'd love to play there. Love the league. I actually know some girls on the team. The first, Yeah, that'd be awesome. The first Jamaican to play for Juventus. That'd be cool. Connect me. I told anyone that if they find me a team... To play for, I will pay them a finder's fee. I don't really, I don't really deal with agents. Um, I've only been in contact with a few because it's, you know, they might have more connections than me, and if they can help me go in the right direction and they're honest and truthful, I can work with you. But honestly, I've had some people hit my line. If you're gonna hit my line and you're not gonna respond to me, don't hit my line. Like if you're not gonna get in the ring with me, don't even, don't even text me, don't call me, don't get in my DM, don't do anything. Stay out of my life. Stay out of my way. I got plans. I got plans. So I only need positivity around me. If you're if you're negative and you, you know, everybody's out here trying to get their own. Me, I want to spread. I want to spread the wealth. I want people on my team I can trust. 
So if you're one of those people, I'm all about it. If you're not, get off my line. Get off my Instagram. Don't follow me. Don't call me. Don't text me. Don't DM me. I love you too, Jose. Good people. Good vibes. All right. So now I just did this part of it. This next part is like lit. Like my face is going to be on fire. See, like, I believe in like natural remedies, but my face needs chemicals. <laughs> lots and lots of chemicals. At least for now. Is it rude if I brush my teeth? I'm gonna do that. <laughs> Maybe I should do live videos more often, like when I'm just like doing stuff. You're on team Lauren Silver? I love that. Team Low Sill. I like that a lot. I like it. I like it. <laughs> I'm crazy. Now I need to be on a team before the World Cup, sir. So if you could hook that up before the World Cup, that'd be awesome. I don't need to be on a team. Well, I, I want to be on a team after the World Cup, but I need to be on a team before the World Cup so I can prepare for the World Cup because I can't kick balls then if I don't kick them now. You know what I'm saying? Favorite player in Champions League? Who's your favorite player in Champions League? DM me so we can be best friends. I love you too. Love you all. Yo, Sterling's good. He's good. Mm-hmm. Go, go, go. Mm -hmm. Marcelo. Marco? <laughs> Yeah, I think our team has developed a lot. Um, technically, tactically, definitely developed the game a lot. It's been it's been really cool to see. Thanks, Fortune. You think I'm super cute like this? That's that's deep. That's real deep. Next game, we'll know when January comes and we get hopefully the World Cup um, schedule, like for training camp, that, that, that's when we'll know when we'll have a game. What's up, big ball yourself? I'm natural beauty. <laughs> I'm sure. Are you sure? One of the watching you brush your teeth is my new favorite thing. Thanks, Pam. <laughs> Yo, this medicine on my face makes my face look super shiny like a bowling ball. Also, Something I do not do is I never put the cap back on the toothpaste. That's so freaking annoying. Because I wake up in the morning, I'm like, who did that? But obviously it was me because nobody else is here. 
but it like really pisses me off and it's something i really want to work on is putting the cap back on the toothpaste little wins here people little wins also i really need hangers i have nice hair <laughs> thank you um i really need hangers i really got to hang up a lot of the clothes i had sent back from Dem from denver you guys There's this uh, line that I say. There's this uh, comedian. Him is uh, Chris Dealey, I think is how you say his name. He's from Canada. Yo, he's so funny. But um, he said <laughs> he says mistakes are scarier than monsters, and it's so true. <laughs> oh man, don't hang around someone too long. You'll fall in love. <laughs> That's what love is. When you fall, when you hang around somebody way too long. Hold on. Who is the best player you played with? Club and country. The best player ever? The best girl player I've ever played with? <sighs> girl? Um, I've had a couple really good players i played with. Savannah Jordan is, like, I think one of the best forwards. Havana Salon, we played, we all played together in college. Um, she's a really good midfielder. Erica Timrock is also a really good mid midfielder. Um, thanks, Pam. I really strive to be a beautiful bowling ball in life. Um, I know a female player that played for Atlanta City. Not sure if you're, if you're interested in that, waiting for her response. Why not? I never say no to anything. Um, as long as there's, you know, some type of posit positive um, out look or output i have a positive outlook i miss you when i blink oh my god pam you seen that I, I knew someone knew that it's so funny i love that oh my god i miss you when i blink <laughs> whatever dog outcome output outgoing outstanding all the same here all the same. Oh my eye. You guys look. Alex Morgan does play for Orlando. I'd love to come to Orlando too. I hear it's uh, my sister lives there actually. It's a great place. Um, look at Chester. Guys, he's just laying here. Chilling. I'm impressive. Um, would be great to see us playing at the dash. Uh, I don't know about that, but, um, who knows? Maybe that'll happen. You, ne you, ne you never really know. You never know. You just don't, you know? You think you know, and then you don't. Do I speak another language? No, but I understand Spanish really well. Um, I lived in France for a little bit. I cannot speak French. Don't even try it. Sure, you can DM me. I'm not sure if I'll answer. Not because I'm an asshole, but because um, there's, sometimes I just get so busy and I'm trying to work and make money so I could, like, you know, live and eat and sleep um, a decent life because women don't get paid. <laughs> that was really scary. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to, I didn't mean to intimidate you guys. One. Yeah, Trudy plays for Aroma. And then my other teammate just went there, too. So I'm really happy for them. Um, it'll be good exposure and, and good opportunity for them to develop, you know, to get ready for the World Cup. So, but I kind of, um, I want to go, I want to play for Juventus. Maybe, oh shoot. That'd be, that'd be super amazing. My personal trainer too. I'm work, I look like your mom. Your mom must be super cool. Oh, shit. Okay. Um, I'm, a, I'm a personal trainer. Well, not a certified one by any means, but um, I do like to train people and myself and learn. And I like to see my body change. Sorry. 
trying to clean up a little bit. Um, but I like to, I like to, I like to train personally, and then I like to train other people too who have certain fitness goals. I like the way that I train, and excuse me, I think my, I think as a, for me, I'm coming from like a athletic background, but also like. Like, I'm not trying to be, like, super ripped and, like, nothing against vegan people because I have so many vegan friends and I love that for them. Um, I do eat similarly in a sense because I don't eat, I don't eat meat. But if, like, I'm around my parents or my friends who do and all they have is that, I will, I will occasionally um, have meat, but... I do a lot of fish and shrimp and not even a lot actually I, I kind of cut that out too I don't really I don't use dairy um, I don't know but for me I'm just not I'm not trying to be like super ripped and like insanely like whatever I just want to like live a healthy lifestyle that includes like eating the things I like and I just happen to really start liking juicing and I really started liking, um, you know, eating more fruits and vegetables. And I just love how, like, it makes me feel. So, and then I also like working out. And it makes me feel really good. So, um, that is a reflection of my body. Sometimes it changes. Sometimes I'm a bit heavier. Sometimes I'm a bit lighter. But um, when I'm playing, I like to feel and be a certain weight and be a certain composition. So I just train for that. And I think that it honestly appeals to most people in the world because it's hard to like, you see all these Instagram people, like the women are super ripped. Like that's really hard to maintain. Like most of those people, like they, they, for a living, like they do that, you know, like I don't do that for a living. I work like a little bit because I got to eat and then, and women don't get paid. Uh, <laughs> I like to sneak in that in, like, you know, like I have to, I have to work because, like, being a women's soccer player, like, is not a career in America or, like, ever in, in any place, <laughs> but, um, yeah, like, I have to work, and I want to hang out with friends and family, and I want to train, and I want to watch Netflix, and I want to go on trips and stuff, so I just do my thing, you know, um, to cabello, that's hair, right? My hair. I think. You like it? You love it? When am I going to be in Orlando next? That's a great question. Honestly, maybe in the next two weeks. I was kind of trying to go. Are they getting paid more than 20000 in the NWSL? No, the cap is $15,200, I think. And that's like for the average player. The majority of players make that money. Players that play, that are allocated or like that play for a national team probably get paid more from their national teams, but I don't know. You have connections in Florentina? Holler at your girl, Pam. Holler at me. You said I look like a mom. I am a mom. This is my son. My mom must be... Bay. My mom is kind of cute. Hi, Jess. <laughs> Pam, don't say that. Why are all the lights on? Um, because I was like trying to like burn my face off and organize a little bit before I go to bed. Sorry. What's my right foot like? It's nice. There's a lot of rooms in this house, actually. It's pretty big. What's up, Panama? You hope we get an easy group in the U in the in the World Cup. Hopefully not France or Germany or the U.S. You know, at this point, I'm just like, I'm just grateful for the opportunity to be there. You know. Thank you, thank you. Like. Some people don't understand me, but like really, I'm just like, 
a child. Like, I'm literally three years old. I don't take myself, like, that seriously. I used to, but it's like, what's the point? Don't do that. It's boring. I'm marketable, and you think I'll get paid soon? Okay, well, everybody says that. It's so cool, but just, like, it has to happen. So, so if you know someone who wants to call me and wants me to do some commercial for them, like Coca-Cola, tell them to call me. I'll juggle a ball on the beach or, you know, dr like, drink it real, like, like take the, you know, the cap off the bottle and, and like, drink it down and, You got passes to Disney? Yo, let's go. Let's go. I heard it's the happiest place on the planet. Big up, Dougie. Big up. How do you get a shirt signed by my team? That's a great question. Um, You got to come to France, honestly. And then you got to hunt us down. And then you got to see... um. You got to, like, find a way to just... Honestly, if you could get me a shirt, I could probably get it signed. But you still have to come to France because it's not going to happen. We barely, we could barely get our own gear. How am I going to get you gear? <laughs> How many guys am I trying to talk to on a daily basis? Zero. What date is it? It's in June. Do you think I'm funny? That's so nice. Wow. That's so nice. I'm just wild. I think it's because I'm tired, so I'm all, like, delirious. and I don't know. Any other questions? I think I'm going to go to sleep soon. It's 10.36 here. Um, and the person that's in England, like, why are you awake? It's, like, 4 o'clock in the morning. Or, wait, is it day daylight savings there? Is it only four hours apart? How many try to talk to me? Zero. Nobody tries to talk to me. I'm regular. I got you. It is impossible to buy a Jamaica shirt. You know why? Because they barely even sell the woman stuff. You know why? Because in Jamaica, they don't take women's soccer seriously. Um, actually, a lot of the places in the, in the world don't take women's soccer seriously. I'm not hating on anybody, though. You know what I'm saying? Like... You're in Saudi Arabia? What? That's so cool. That's so cool. Wow. No, it's not a lie. J. Pitt. I'm not really sure if that's your whole name or like that's your last name. Pitt and Dre? I might have said that wrong. But like I'm all about it. I'm in Italy. Come visit me. Okay, find me a team, Pam. Can't wait for the World Cup. Me too. I just want to play soccer. I want to represent my team, my country, myself, my family real well. Panama doesn't take soccer seriously. See, it's so sad. Such a great sport. I said it right. That's amazing. That's amazing. Wow. That's really cool. Hi, Lily. Hi, Lulu. I miss you. Good night, Pam. Yeah, it's like 3 o'clock in the morning over there, right? You psycho. Go to sleep. You guys, so this girl who just came on my, um, my live, her name is Lulu. And she just committed to VCU to play college soccer, Division One soccer, um, next year, I'm so excited for her and I can't wait to go to her games. Saudi Arabia beat Jamaica 5-2. What? I know, I know, I know they don't take, they don't take uh, football seriously. What's up? Yo, so many Panama followers. I love it. I love it. That's amazing. You know, I do try to stay focused, but I also try to take myself too seriously because I'll get caught up in this life. So I'm just trying to have fun. I'm just trying to meet real people, make real connections, 
All I'm trying to do is just, you know, get rid of my acne. Um, you know, juice a lot. Work out. Get this hair real tick. You know what I'm saying? Like real tick. Ticker than a snicker. Get these curls on fleek. Probably stop at the middle part because that's not really a good look for me. But we're just going to leave it for tonight because this is how the chips fell. So we're just going to like leave it like that. A happy video. I just wanted to know if you're going to send it. I would send it, but like I didn't, I don't know like where to send it. And I don't like emails. Don't email me because like I don't know what to do with the email. Um, yeah, I like Real Madrid. Real Madrid. <sighs> Yo, I would be cuffed too if Liverpool offered me a contract. I'd be like, let's go. Like, I'm in England. They were like, hey, do you want to? Yes. So we're going to sign 100%. Yeah, so we were we were really, well, they'd probably talk like this. They'd have an accent. Oh, Lauren Silver, would you like to sign a contract with us? I'd be like, bloody hell, mate. Yes. Yo, you have no idea. I'd be dead. I do like dance hall. Except when I listen to too much of it at one time, I just can't. Like any music, I can't listen to too much of the same thing. I just can't do it. I really like like African, you know, like the Afro hip hop scene, French scene. Like I'm really about it. Awesome. See you then, Coach Sean. Holler at me when you, when you get to France. My favorite is Marcelo. Didn't we talk about this? 2955 GGT. Team curly hair. It'd be like that. I'm sorry. Did I disrespect you? Because I didn't mean to talk like that. <laughs> I just do my best accent. You probably, if you did an American accent, it wouldn't be that great. Maybe it would. You know, I don't know. You should make a video and tag me in it. You doing an American accent. World Cup preparation for me, it's going to start in like, I mean, it's already started pretty much. I took like a long break. I was tired. Who's my favorite player on Real Madrid? Or do I like Real Madrid? Yeah. Am I, oh, I'm your favorite player for Jamaica. Oh, that's so nice. Yo, I'm telling you, you have to try you have to try. Just just do a video of you with an American accent and tag me in it, please. I will post it on my page. I will be sad. You do music, too? What kind of music do you do? Messy. All day, baby. All day. I don't really get that one, John. I'm really sorry. It could just be because I'm tired. Yes, I can't wait. I can't wait to hear that accent. Yeah, pro uh, I don't know. That's a good question. I've never been. <laughs> First time ever, so I don't know. I'll let you know. <sighs> Suarez. Neither do I. Neither do I. I don't put myself in any kind of category. Nobody can box me. You can't cage me. I'm a free bird. I'm a bird. Joey, I'm a bird. All right, I have to get off here because I'm really tired. Good night, y'all. Oh, I just said y'all. Good night, everyone. Um, have a great night. And um, peace, love, and soccer. Marta. Ciao.